Oh, hello, it's time for another Rambling Man camp food taste test. And this time it's one with a bit of a difference. For today, I've got no stove, I've got no fuel, I haven't even packed a fork. But that's not going to stop me having a nice, hot, tasty meal. Cute titles. So, what do you do when you're out in the middle of nowhere with no stove, no fuel, uh, and not even a fork? What do you do when you're hungry? Well, you've got a couple of options. You can try and rub two sticks together, maybe make a little bit of fire, uh, get that going, put a jacket potato in there and some foil in the embers, try and heat it up, and maybe uh, endure the wrath of a local landowner who doesn't want you ruining his nice land with a, with a fire. Or you could just get one of these. It's a Cross and Blackwell self-eating meal. It even comes with its own fork. So inside our packet we have this beautiful orange envelope. We have a little packet of water, which you are not allowed to drink apparently. And we have this. This is your packet of, uh, in this case, beef ravioli in oil stream sauce. And it's all rather complicated to get some instructions. Uh, I'll show you there. And what you need to do is open the bag at one end, which I've done. <laughs> Insert unopened meal pouch in the food heater. <laughs> Place on a heat safe surface and wait for 10 to 12 minutes and enjoy. Well, here you can see her uh, cooking, you see the steam coming, coming out. It's, it's quite Hot. It's had about eight minutes now. Um, because I couldn't get the, the meal pouch properly, I mean, you're actually supposed to tape it up here to fold all this down, but I couldn't get the, the meal pouch in. <laughs> it's actually quite hot. <clears throat> so I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be all right with all the steam. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, steam escaping. It's actually the steam that apparently cooks the food. And you can see it kind of bumping all the way down there. That's the, the heating element. <clears throat> um, it, I've just noticed it does say here on the instructions, uh, in the camera around, pour meal slowly on tray and enjoy. Um, didn't think to actually bring a tray, so <laughs> we'll work out what to do in a minute when it finally cooks. So I've given this about 12 minutes uh, and it's stopped steaming now. So I'm going to try and look inside. Okay, there's a lot of steam coming out there. Um, put my camera down somewhere, hopefully you can see. Let's get this metal out. This is my food. Does it have advertising? That's a uh, I'll have to put the camera down while I get in it. <clears throat> mm. So 
the fun bit is the packaging is now covered in a kind of gunk. It's going to be the self eating eating thing, so I'm not going to rinse that off with some water. It's all in my hands. Apparently, it is non toxic, <coughs> they say. I don't think to bring a uh, serviette. <laughs> so, <coughs> that's have a look inside. There we, there we have inside. This is our ravioli. So let's see what it's like. Um, here we go. Certainly not as uh, hot as I thought it would be. <laughs> so I'd try and adjust the camera and eat and sit on a slope at the same time. It's certainly not quite as hot given uh, how long it's been in there. The, it's rather salty. Um, and I can't really taste mushroom. I have the as well. Very soft. Um, oh, I think I found a bit of mushroom. <laughs> so there's two things to note about the self-eating meal that are quite important. One is the price, which came in for me about six pounds or so from Cotswold, which is a bit on the price side when you consider that you know, a bit of fuel and uh, a packet of pasta from the supermarket would probably cost you about £1.50. The second thing is the weight. These things are pretty bulky, they're about 350 grams. So a few of them in your sack you'd be well weighed down. That's almost the same weight as a tin of baked beans or something. So it's quite substantial. However, you've got to balance that off about the fact that you're not carrying a stove, you're not carrying fuel bottles or anything like that. You've also got no washing up. <laughs> so if you're going out for just like one night, say maybe staying overnight or while camping somewhere in the Lake District or staying one night in a bovvy, this is going to actually be a worthwhile option. But if you're going for the multiple days and carrying some of those, well, you just, it ain't going to be worth it. Get a stove, get some lightweight stuff, it'll be much better. And just so you're aware, I did pass a very nice looking pub foot which I could have gone for a very, very good lunch today. And did that, I sacrificed my lunch just for you. Hope you're grateful.